Hello everyone, this is Lee DJ Strikes 3 here with a simple piston door tutorial, an upgrade from the last video, and a little trap that's really cool. So first we're going to go look at the piston door setup. Um, hopefully I can teach you how to do it. So I'm not going to build it in front of you, but I'm just going to kind of show you how to build it. Um, so first of all, this is the build that I watched in my last video. Um, I'm not going to link it in the description because this one's actually better. Um, so you can see it, the wire goes all the way out here. Um, you have to go one farther out, and it's a little wider, and takes a little more space than this compact one over here. And so I figured this one out recently. Um, so what you do is, and you can actually, here, I'll, I'll put it on both sides just so you can see. Um, I'll build it on this side for you. So you just put your pressure plates down um, two away, or however far away you want. You only need to remove four blocks, um, two down, and then, of course, the blocks underneath. So let's do that. Okay, so then you just put the redstone like that and like this, and it's that compact and it works. So I know most of you probably know redstone, but how this works is that the redstone goes straight into this block, which is the torch, which disables this, and the torch activates this piston plus this block, which is this piston, um, and then this redstone's for the top piston. So that's how it works. Um, like I said, it's more compact than that, both width and, um, like right here, if you wanted to have something right here, um, underground, or whatever, you know, you could, it's more space than before. So yeah, this is a really cool piston door that I recommend you use over the other one, because it's the same amount of time, it's just one, um, delay, and it's actually less materials, less redstone, so I definitely recommend you use this. Okay. Now to the small trap, which I just thought it's it would only be like a minute video without this. So I just thought include it. So we'll go over here by this cow, and I'll go ahead and show you. So first of all, it's set up so that whenever you hit the pressure plate, you fall down, obviously. Um, so if you go like this, you put a pressure plate. That's just the hole. And I'm not sure if you can do it without the hole, but it's really good because if you fall down into the hole, then um, it disables you from going anywhere else. Oh god, I hope the video is not lagging. Anyway, so then you just um, put a piston right here. Now this, you would obviously have to reset it every time because the, the pressure plate falls, but um, you can basically reset it easily um, 15 times, and I'll show you that in a second. So, I'll show you this. So, like, you stand on it, it activates the redstone, it should be pushing the piston, but it's not working. Why not? Well, wh why it's not working is because pistons can just um, push, I think, 15 blocks or so. So what you do is you can just um, mine a couple blocks real fast. Um, just, you know, mine extra so you can have room. Then you fill it, the top one back in so that the, the block that you're going to stand on has room to get pushed. You just fill it all back in, and bam. It's all underground. It's all set by this pressure plate. And, yeah, someone could be like, ooh, look, a pressure plate, and then go like this. But, you know, people are dumb. So um, you just stand on the plate. It immediately removes. You, if, you, if you're standing on the plate at all, I'm pretty sure there's no way to get out. I mean, and if you want to just replace it, you just, bam. And so what you can do is you can have several of these, like, around your base or whatever in, in like, a server. And um, you can just check them every once in a while. And if it's triggered, then you know the, the person has died from there. And you can just reset it. And like I said, resetting is as easy as that. Yeah, I couldn't even jump, like, when I prepared to fall. So it's a really good setup. Um, anyway, if you have any more um, videos you'd like me to make, whether it be Minecraft or whatever, um, please write, rate, comment, and subscribe, and you know, thanks for watching.